Well, hi friends, it's Wayne Polson coming to you from Hartwood, right next door to SM Heartland. And a while ago, I put up a video on ratchet straps. Um, I think it was about how to, how to use them basically um, and how I like to stow them or not necessarily how I like to stow them, how I've seen other people stow them. And I, I liked a couple of those techniques, so I, I repeated them uh, to you. Um, the one thing I liked the most from that video though was the way that you take care of the tail end of that thing and wrapping it up in like a nice little bow and it gets nice and tight and it's really easy to undo. I still use that to this day but however I felt like I needed to just uh, go back a couple of notches and give you what I really do on a, my personal preference for stowing my straps and this is a personal preference it's not a right or a wrong um, it's not a professional versus amateur kind of a thing. It's just my way of doing it because I got frustrated with my straps getting tangled all the time. And honestly, my preferred methods to me is the simplest one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I grab a ratchet strap out of here, it comes out looking like this. It's daisy chained. Now, um, that's pretty short. If it does get tangled, uh, it's pretty easy to find the ends of this thing and get it all untangled. The nice thing about it too is when you're ready to use it, you just take this free end that I have right here, pull it through the top loop, and just let it out, and you've got your strap. And honestly, to keep this video as short as possible, let me show you what I do then to stow it. So that, I mean, so when I get ready to use it, I have to, of course, open it up and I can go ahead and use it. When I'm done though, I go ahead and uh, prior to closing this up, I'll make sure that both of these ends right here are roughly equal in length, all right? And then I go ahead and close this up like that to make this more compact. And then I start here. I just loop it over my open hand like this Take the free end and tuck it into this loop that I've made with my hand. Pull that loop out like that. A lot of you all probably know how to daisy chain. So basically it's just a daisy chain, man. You just, you just do this. Just keep on, can you see this okay? Just keep on pushing a loop through. Just like that. And I'll usually take it until I know I can get the free end through the last loop like this. Then I pull that through and we're done. This is my preferred method of storing these straps. Just a tidbit of info for you on how I like to do things. You do things the way you do things. And by the way, uh, Mike Madsen, uh, Folks, Mike Madsen pointed something out in that ratchet strap video from a couple weeks ago, or a month now, whatever it's been. Uh, and he said that truckers generally do not twist the straps uh, to counter the vibration caused by wind passing over the straps. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's right about that, that it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I would like to test that. So what I'm going to do is, not in this video, but in a hopefully soon to come video, I'm going to test that theory. I'm going to go ahead and strap something down on my truck. I'm going to take it down the highway and we're going to measure some wind speed. We're going to measure vibration and all of that kind of stuff. And we're going to see if it really makes a difference. Um, sounds like a fun thing to me. So, all right, folks, that's it. Be kind in your neighborhoods, be kind in your families, and most of all, be kind to somebody who just turns your guts inside out. Somebody you just cannot stand. That's the true test of your ability to be kind. I'll see you in another video.